So my name is Ren. Uh, Ren Wang, this is uh, Yipeng Wang. We're from uh, Intel Labs, and um, our main job is basically optimizing um, packet processing um, in general purpose um, platforms. And in this talk, um, we're going to talk about um, a flow classification related uh, DBDK libraries. And um, also, a, a we propose, so what we propose uh, to um, perform traffic profiling and the measurement. Um, so, yeah, this one. Um, before we actually start, uh, we would like to uh, thank you um, to say a thank you for all the collaborators, uh, including people from industry side, from uh, Intel and different companies, and also people from uh, academia um, a, a side. From, for example, uh, Tong Yang and uh, Jennifer, which we always have uh, inspirational discussions. And today's agenda, first of uh, will review uh, flow classification libraries uh, in DDK. And then we'll discuss uh, what we propose, um, including uh, traffic, uh, for traffic profiling and the measurement. And then we have summary. Now I'll ask Yipeng to uh, review the uh, flow classification. Hello, okay. Uh, we'll just, uh, I I'll just uh, briefly describe uh, uh, the flow classification in our context, uh, it's a bit different than the flow cl classification uh, of the NDPI presented this morning. Uh, so in our context, the flow classification is to classify each packet to its corresponding flows. Uh, so usually you have a data structure like a flow table, flow table or like a tray, uh, some other data structures and for each packet uh, you extract the header and get a key and try to look up the data structure and classify the key uh, to find the associated data entry. Uh, that's the flow class uh, classification in our context. Um, so we have been uh, working or contributing to uh, different libraries in the recent years from Intel Labs, uh, including the hash library, a membership library, and EFD library. Uh, they all do classification but different, uh, with different use cases and purpose. Uh, for example, membership library, it allows false, po false positive, uh, but meanwhile it's very memory efficient. Uh, so uh, you can use it for the use cases not, that doesn't need 100% uh, accuracy, for example, uh, profiling or distribution. Uh, hash library is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a hash table library. Um, you can use it for NAT table, flow table. Uh, EFD is another uh, library doing exact match. Uh, comparing to the hash library, it has uh, uh, higher memory efficient, faster lookup speed, but uh, a little bit slower uh, insertion speed. So different libraries have different use cases. Uh, and then, uh, in the recent version uh, of DBDK v1811, we uh, contribute uh, two uh, extra features or uh, improvement to the current RTE hash library. One is to add a, uh, add a extendable table feature, um, which is to add link list to the current uh, hash table. This is uh, uh, to uh, meet the requirement from telecom use cases which require uh, reliability, so you don't want a uh, hash collision happens in the middle, like you can't insert one key, but you can insert another key, uh, next key. Uh, that's not uh, desired in the telecom use cases. Uh, second is we use the partial key hashing for memory efficiency, so currently, uh, so, so by using partial key hashing, we uh, effectively reduce the memory requirement of a RD hash by half, uh, which uh, improve the performance. Um, yeah, I will get back to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so I would like to actually uh, to uh, to point out. Um, I'm sorry. How do I actually get? Okay, here. Yeah. I will just quickly to point out uh, the extended table. I actually worked with uh, Christine Dimitri, who's somewhere here. So thank you. 
Um, so the second agenda of this talk, uh, we actually want to uh, uh, propose package of profiling and the measurement in DBDK. And uh, the motivation, uh, let's think about that. Up to now, we actually have discussed DBDK flow classification libraries, which mainly focus on how can we actually classify flow and taking corresponding actions, for example, forwarding and the routing and such. But meanwhile, understanding the uh, traffic and understanding the network conditions is also important and necessary. And the traditional network in the telco companies uh, and also data centers uh, traditionally have always uh, uh, been performing the real-time uh, traffic analysis. And uh, that's using limited um, uh, memory resources, sometimes uh, in traditional switch uh, in hardware. Um, so let's look at uh, a few usages to have a better actually understanding why do we actually, this is important. And the traditionally in networking, we always have the concept of uh, elephant, flow, elephant flows and mass flows. And uh, in order to understand network congestions, we really want to uh, understand the number of elephant flows and uh, how heavy are those elephant flows. And meanwhile, for, for the certain uh, routings, you want to actually um, know the, 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 the flow size. For example, how many actually flows are really big, and you want to actually uh, uh, adjust your routing based on those understandings. And again, traffic engineering always uh, consider the flow size. You want to actually give the small flow actually higher priority and, uh, the such, and such optimizations. Again, the DOS attack detection, and you want to attack uh, certain flows that are uh, all certain actually set of flows uh, that uh, uh, is uh, uh, issuing DOS attack. So those actually uh, um, a, a usages can be classified into how do you actually de uh, detect uh, heavy hitters uh, in the network. Um, that's actually not included in the classification itself. Classification only actually classified the, uh, um, which flow it belongs to. And again, the, another usage is um, what's the statistics of active flows? For example, when we actually set uh, a, a, a flow cache for certain actually, uh, um, a, uh, for the QoS purposes, we want to set on uh, the cache, uh, um, cache size appropriate to the number of active flows, also called uh, a cardinality estimate, how many active flows uh, you have uh, in, the now, uh, in, the, in the current window. So that's actually some information actually a lot of operators, operators uh, want to know. And uh, meanwhile, you can also actually try to understand uh, uh, anomalous traffic by actually just detecting um, is my networking actually undergoing a sudden change by comparing the different windows, uh, number of active flows? So those are actually some usages uh, for the networking profiling and uh, measurement. Um, so how actually in general people do that? So currently there are actually two main um, the data structures. You can actually do this in a very memory efficient way and they gave you actually just enough uh, information to understand what's going on in the network. And the first one is, um, we call it, uh, uh, or it's generally called uh, count mean and count sketch. And you can actually look at it, it's basically a, a 2D arrays of the counters and the each K actually maps uh, to multiple counters, uh, each counter per row. And why do you want to, have to, uh, want to have the multiple rows that's actually corresponding to different hash functions to avoid uh, a collision? You can, you can actually imagine there might be actually different uh, uh, case actually could uh, map into the same country in a certain row. And when you have different rows, you, you can avoid uh, collision. And in this case, uh, the flow size can be uh, estimated by actually um, uh, looking at uh, the, 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 the minimum, the, the, the how many packets belong to a flow. It actually can be, uh, it can be obtained by looking at the minimum, uh, the counters, minimum of all the counters belong to that certain flow. 
And that's why it's called uh, actually count me. And then the number flows, you can actually by uh, getting by counting the non-zero uh, non actually uh, uh, a counters uh, in, in your 2D array. That's actually the, the, the counter. And look at this data structure. It gives you the packet count, uh, counter from the, the, the counter of the packets, but it does not keep uh, the flow ID or the signature of the flow. So for people who want uh, to, uh, to understand the heavy hitter and who wants to understand who actually were issuing those packets, um, uh, you want to use a, a hash table like that structure where you, you keep on both uh, uh, a flow ID and uh, the packet count. And one example is actually called the hash pipe. This is actually in order to reduce uh, the, uh, um, the access overhead uh, of uh, the, the, the hash table. You, um, they actually, the authors, they actually uh, partition the hash table into multiple uh, hash tables in one stage. Each stage uh, actually you subsequently access uh, each hash table. So this can um, benefit uh, the uh, uh, stage uh, um, processing, especially for the uh, a, um, a pipeline stage switches. However, um, what we actually really want to do, since we are actually uh, talking about DBDK on the software, what's actually the most uh, 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 optimal, what's the most optimal uh, data structure we can use uh, in DBDK for, um, the, packet process, uh, for the um, profiling? So our design goals are uh, including uh, we want a general data structure that's actually suitable for different usages. So for example, either you want to do the heavy hitter detection or you want to do the cardinality estimate or the, uh, or the actually uh, a, 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 a DOS attack or networking changing. So you can all use it. And we want, of course, low memory usage and uh, uh, the, the minimum memory access count per packet. So this is basically uh, considering the, the, uh, the memory access uh, latency is actually not uh, cheap uh, considering your usages. And of course, we want fast processing speed uh, for inline processing. And lastly, uh, because of the, uh, uh, the EVS uh, instructions, uh, we want uh, the that structure to be easy to be uh, vectorized. And uh, so this slide actually gave uh, a high-level discussion on the uh, direction we want to go. Um, I'm not talking about uh, too many details on this, uh, on this uh, a, a, a talk, but uh, uh, please actually uh, check us down anytime. We can actually always uh, um, uh, collect feedback and uh, discuss more details. So um, they, they, they are, the, we want to actually provide both uh, uh, hash table based uh, sketch for heavy flows where you want uh, not only the packet count but al also the uh, flow information. And we want also to provide uh, a count mean sketch uh, for light flows where you, you basically just want to understand how many active flows, for example, you might actually networking right now. And uh, so the basic hash table based uh, sketch for heavy flows is already in our membership library, like actually uh, Yipin, uh, Yipin actually just uh, introduced. Our current membership library uh, is able to um, uh, a, a actually um, a, a differentiate uh, the, the, the set for your packet. And we can use the packet count as actually your, um, uh, your actually result of uh, uh, your actually flow ID, which can actually achieve uh, the uh, um, uh, hash table based sketch. Meanwhile, we also want to uh, uh, introduce uh, uh, same sketch for light flows. And uh, we are actually also uh, designing the uh, combination of the two, which is most suitable for uh, networking, uh, for their IA, networking um, and, um, profiling on the IA platform. So with those, actually, I conclude uh, our talk. And as a summary, uh, we talk about um, the current DBDK class flow classification libraries and uh, how do we plan to introduce uh, sketch data structure for uh, traffic profiling. 
And as always, we always look for collaborators uh, and developers who, in, who are interested in optimize uh, your um, telco and uh, workload, um, um, cloud workloads. Not only, uh, actually we say using DPDK library here, but if you have any requests, um, either it's software related or hardware related, uh, always welcome to talk with us. Thank you. Yeah. And if you have any questions, uh, although we are 30 seconds over, but we can either take questions now if they allow us, or just uh, offline. So maybe one question. If not, you can reach them offline. Yes. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.